I really shouldn't be handed sharp objects. The weather outside is frightful, but this cardigan is so delightful. <coughs> Alas, her joke was not funny, but at least she speaketh the truth. Where I'm from, winter means that it just rains for like five months straight and you don't get to see the sun. So thank God that's not depressing at all. We actually did get two weeks of snow this winter, but now it's just back to being gray again. But luckily I have just the cure for that. And that is making pretty things. When life seems gray, you just have to embroider a bunch of flowers onto your clothes. Actually, you probably have a vitamin D deficiency. But uh, yeah, I, wa I want to embroider some things today. Um, I have this knitted cardigan that I made last year or uh, yeah, actually about a year ago. It's green. And today I want to make it even better. Yes, I actually wanted to do that for like a year now, but I never did. Because I'm an arts and crafts professional and that's part of the job. Starting projects and then not finishing them. Or actually I did try once, I think, but it didn't work. But that was before I started learning embroidery, so um, surely it'll be fine this time. Okay, let's, let's get some materials. I will be having that. Okay, so I have my cardigan, a small embroidery hoop that I'm not sure is actually small enough. We will try. Then I have some yarn, leftover yarn from this sunflower crochet cardigan. Check, check that video out as well but after you watch this i want to just embroider some some flowers and plants and stuff on here so i have like yellow white green and stuff needles i lost one of these in my house a few minutes ago but i found it so it's it's fine no need to contact the local authorities all needles are secured and then do i need something else no i think that's it okay so i don't know i think i just want to do the sleeves like embroider some some flowers on here and then i don't know i think i think that's that's enough okay let's see if we can get the the hoop on here i don't think i don't think i can but maybe you won't six if you uh if you don't try you will can't succeed. God, I'm such a poet. The reason I failed when I tried to embroider this the last time uh, was, okay, actually I just didn't know any stitches, so that was problem number one. But then I also didn't have an embroidery hoop and the yarn that I used for making this cardigan is very thick. Thick like the, the blood of my enemies. I don't know what's going on today. But yeah, there are a lot of gaps and spaces and stuff. That's why it was quite difficult to try to embroider this and then I gave up after like five minutes. So let's try again to Today. Step number one was a success. Literally like the least important part. Now a big ass needle. And let's start with, I don't actually know. Let's start with, with this. This is like an off-white off color. And I'm going to use that for flowers and I'm going to try to embroider some lazy daisy flowers on here. And I don't think this will work. I can just throw the footage and my camera with it into the garbage because I don't think I will be successful this time. Are you ready for the first stitch? I'm not, but I want some pretty flowers on my cardigan. So, oh God, and the needle fell, starting out great. Okay, maybe if I put the needle through the yarn and not through the spaces, maybe that way I have like a little bit of, I don't know, of what, a chance of success. Okay, I got it to work, I just like made it really ugly. So I'm going to do that again. But I think my, my plan works to like do the stitches through the actual yarn and not through the spaces. That's actually not that crazy of an idea. I'm just an idiot and didn't think of that sooner. Okay. So, um, it is a flower, it's very ugly. I don't know what happened to these two. I don't know why they're so much longer than the other ones. Maybe I can save it with a French knot in the middle. But so far, honest opinion, I don't recommend embroidering your knitwear, especially if you use like thick yarn. I'm already regretting this. But since there's a camera pointed at my face and I'm make making this for a video, I am going to finish it. I'm going to commit. This is actually the, the real reason why I made this channel. It's so that I can actually get things done because I don't otherwise. <laughs> I'm going to try to save this abomination now. The two knots in the middle will make all your problems go away. That 
did not make it better. Okay, I'm going to take off the embroidery hoop, see if it is somewhat acceptable without it. And if not, then I'm going to redo the flower again. And then I'm going to cry. And then I'm going to make some more flowers. That's the plan for today. I don't know. I really, I really don't know. It kind of looks better in real life than on camera. I'm not even sure if you can tell that it, this is supposed to be a flower, if you don't know that it's supposed to be a flower. <laughs> it, <laughs> it kind of looks like art from Spongebob. Is that a good thing? Probably not. Not to hate on Spongebob here, but underwater sponge that lives in a pineapple wasn't exactly the aesthetic I was going for, so after a quick staring contest with my flower, I decided that I actually didn't like it, took it off, and redid it. Not actually much better this time, but this one had to do now, otherwise I would have probably given up forever. I also moved to my desk so that you could actually see what I was doing and then I just slapped some more flowers onto the sleeve. Sleeve number one and parts of the front. Here, let me show you. Wow, some flowers. Beautiful. Very nice. I know I said that I really don't recommend embroidering your knitwear. I'm going to change that statement. I'm going to say, because this is, I mean, it's looking nice. I like how it looks. So it's kind of worth it. So I'm going to change my statement to, I do recommend embroidering your knitwear, but only if you have a lot of patience and no anger issues. So this is definitely the perfect project for me. As a kid, I was never really good at learning s new things, especially sports, like, I don't know, golf or, or badminton, because I would always get angry when it didn't work out like I wanted it to. Anyways, my bird is singing again. Why? Why does he always do this? As soon as I turn this camera on and start talking... This is definitely starting to look more whimsical, more whimsical. Okay, so this... The flowers on this sleeve are finished. I still want to add some more plants and shit. And then I ob obviously have to do this side. But, I mean, I like it. Before it was just a, a nice green cardigan, but once this is done, then it's going to be a nice green cardigan that a fairy in a forest would wear. But like none of the popular fairies, like the the weird one that lives further into the forest and the popular ones are like, oh yeah, <laughs> she lives over there. And then they quickly change the topic. That is kind of the aesthetic I'm going for. So now I'm going to try to copy this onto this side and then I will see you in a bit for more colors and no more plants. Yeah. It's a new day, carpe diem or something like that. Yesterday I finished all of the flowers on both sides. So now we got a bunch of those guys. I also successfully stabbed myself 73 times. I really shouldn't be handed sharp objects. You know, when, when there's instructions for a thing and, and it's like, oh, it's not made for children. Don't give it to three-year-olds. It's like that. And then there's also always a picture of me next to it because I, I really, I don't have enough brain cells to be doing something like this. Never mind. However, we have to continue because I want to add some green, some light green green plants. I don't know. I don't really have a plan, but I'm going to do that now. I went back to my desk to add some more plants with this green yarn, but I couldn't talk to you guys because my dad was working in the same room and I wasn't sure how much value me having a mental breakdown over embroidery would add to his Zoom call. So I am just broadcasting my thoughts to you in retrospect. Here's what I was thinking at this point. Should I just add this green with literally no plan? Yes. Or maybe not. No, I'm, I'm going to do it. What could go wrong? I mean, it's not like I'm removing stuff. I'm adding things that can be easily removed if they turn out ugly. Yes, I, I'm going to do it. And I held true to the voices in my head and just freestyled some green onto there. Was that a good idea? I honestly don't know. I'm going to let you be the judge of that.
I added some green and it didn't really turn out to be plants. It's just, I don't know, green lines. And when I finished the first sleeve, I tried it on once and I thought it looked kind of good but also kind of ugly um, and I wasn't sure if I like it but I think I do. I think it's working. I said I was going for a little bit of an ugly aesthetic which I probably only said because I like the skill to make this better but I have to say I think it's cute. Um, I like it so it's reveal time. What do you think? I mean, as I've said it before, I think it's cute. It definitely looks DIY. But it is DIY, so that's fine. I think it's, I like it. Also, I don't think this is the best setup for a reveal, but it's like the really only place where I can film in the house and it's raining outside. So um, I'm not doing that. So this is it. I'm sorry. Yeah. But... I like it. I think it's cute. And it was quite the, the quick project, even though embroidery always makes me kind of aggressive, but that's... Uh, it feels like something that should be relaxing to you, but it's not to me. But I think that sounds like a me problem, to be honest. Yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you had fun. Go subscribe for more arts and crafts videos. Leave a comment what you think of this. And um, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.